My name's Phil Walker from Shepherd Engineering Services. Uh, I was bid manager on the Hitachi project. I was first involved in the Hitachi project back in July 2013. Um, it was shortlisted down to six main contractors at that point, of which Shepherds was one of them. Uh, and it's fair to say we've lived and breathed Hitachi since then. The factory's been in development for a number of years from concept. Uh, we've actually been on site since uh, end of 2013. Um, construction started December 2013 where we started in the ground. But we did quite a lot of work prior to that in actually winning the jobs. So it was probably a year's worth of work in winning the job. Um, prior to that the actual client was in liaisons I think for, for about a further two years. Hitachi, when we set out um, in the UK looking for a site in the UK we had a number of sites that we had to uh, review and look through and then we actually ultimately selected the northeast. We're less than 100 yards from where Stevenson tested his first passenger train you know um, so uh, there's a long history of railways uh, into the northeast. For us Newton Aycliffe ticked all the boxes we've got shipping port very nearby so when we actually build the rail car body in Japan with our sister factory that will come via ship then it'll come by road and come into this facility where we continue the production process. We're also close to the motorway and obviously the connection onto the Shildon branch line which runs through onto the northeast line. So uh, and the availability of labour and the right type of labour into the area. So a number of key factors, location, uh, and the motorways and the railway interface and the labour availability. With Shepherd Construction, they obviously had a supply chain and that supply chain involved local companies and most of that chain is within 50 mile radius of this site. So we've actually created a lot of work in the northeast and around this area locally during the build but the actual factory when it's up and running will create 700 plus jobs uh, and potentially more if it actually get more orders but it's very good news for the area. If there's good employment you will find that there's less crime so you're bringing a factory in more jobs the area comes more affluent. So I think this will act as a catalyst to draw more jobs to the area and it won't just be any kind of jobs I think it'll be high value high wage jobs where it'll be apprenticeships where there'll be, uh, where there'll be a lot of people working doing skilled jobs which is what the kind of jobs I want to see for the area. In a typical shepherd way, the guys are, you know, they're, they're, they're striving for more and they're, they're always wanting to, to do more and, and better themselves. We've been fortunate enough on this project to have some real committed members uh, of the supply chain on our team. Morale is, it is, it is good. I think we've got a good team here. You know, the supply chain, the management team that shepherds have got in place on the site. You know, we, we, it is working really well. It's a credit to everybody that worked on this site that the relationship with all our subcontractors. It's been very good and we've had a good relationship with everybody. we found possibly because of the impact this project has on the region, everyone wants to be involved and everyone wants to perform on this project. So um, we've had a real team atmosphere on this project. Everyone's got a common goal of completing this factory. hit with uh, uh, quite a wet winter which didn't really help us uh, given the operations we were doing on site at the time. We were delayed by four weeks at the very start of the project. A hard decision was taken to, um, to, to stop work you know, because again you're, you're exposed to the elements and there's only so much you can do before it has an impact and uh, I think that decision was taken wisely to, to stop work. Credit to all our subcontractors and the whole site team that incredibly 
do the hard work by everybody. We've actually brought that around. Since then, we've had to reprogram and resequence uh, to try and accelerate. And uh, we're now pleased to say that we're recovering that four week delay and we will finish on our original deadline. When I first came here, like I say, it was early September and there was still pouring the foundations in the warehouse, they were still laying tracks, uh, a lot of the areas hadn't been concreted and um, there wasn't any staging in, installed at all so from, from then to now we're now at the stage where 95% of the floor is down the concrete slab, 95% of the rails are in, they're starting to put the uh, rail stubs up in the test line house which has also, um, the staging has obviously progressed as well. So it's come on a considerable amount in the past five months. Trains at the moment are in first two orders are the replacement intercity express uh, program so they're going to replace all the existing rolling stock on the east coast main line and the great western main line which is uh, from London to Bristol to Swansea and then the East Coast Main Line is from London to um, Inverness or Aberdeen. So the, the existing stock I think is about 30 to 40 years old um, but we're going to be replacing that with a state-of-the-art high-speed trains. On top of that we've just secured another order uh, for what we call our AT200 commuter train uh, to supply 70 trains to um, Abellio Scott Rail for the commuting um, journey between Glasgow and Edinburgh. So the rail vehicle turntable is a specialist piece of equipment that Hitachi have bought directly uh, and the reason we need it is because our production lines we're going to build all our rail cars in the same direction but in any train configuration we actually need to rotate one train and that could be a four car configuration, five car, nine car or ten car configuration. Um, so the turntable is a key piece of equipment to us because it allows us to be more efficient inside the actual manufacturing facility. Once we get to the end of that stage, we bring it down the external traverser, put it onto the turntable, rotate that unit 180 degrees, and then take it straight into the test house where we actually couple the trains. We're currently working towards a date where we can give uh, access to some of the specialist equipment suppliers to access the factory and install their equipment. There'll be uh, two traverses coming into site. A traverser itself, I'd compare it to something like a little like an overhead crane, but it's low level. And it allows the trains to actually pull onto this traverser. It then trundles along with the train on top of it and allows it to pull off the next track. So it allows the, the factory to be used as a production line. The traverses are vital to production to get it between the assembly lines. So really, without the two traverses, uh, this factory doesn't work. Handing over the project is uh, when you really feel like you've achieved something. A lot of people who work in construction will tell you the reason they work in construction is the legacy that you leave behind. It, the site becomes part of you uh, because you've put a lot of effort, like the rest of the site team, uh, you've put a lot of effort in. When you go, sometimes I get the feeling I don't want to hand it over. It, it, becomes, it becomes like a, a child. go away from this project and you're going to be proud for years because it's still going to be there and when these trains start running on the uh, on the lines you, you'll know you've been a part of that. It will be a, a long lasting legacy of, of this project and hopefully it will kick start future developments as well. 
You can drive past these buildings in years to come and you know that you've played a part in that building being there and you know what an impact it's had on people's lives. We would look to develop this area here which ultimately will secure more employment opportunities, um, you know, more training, more long-term careers for people. So you could, with Hitachi, we're not in here for the short duration, we're here for the, for the long term. Uh, so we'd like to think ultimately generations will be working for us in the northeast.